Day three, everyone. Da. Obviously, it's me always the longest I could show you at the full fit, but come in shy. No. Say hi to the people. What I'll say hi, but I won't come in. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, you ready? Hi, guys. So it is day three in London. Um, I'm low key feeling like a Londoner. <laughs> nah, let me stop. Anyway, we're going out really late today. It's like four something already. Um, and it's already dark outside, as you can see. Because <laughs> last night when we came back, we were just too late to start doing work. So we just went to sleep. We were too lazy. We were too tired. Oh, well. <laughs> but we, we were too tired to do it we, even we to oh nah yeah honestly we did attempt to do it and then it was just working out brain power was not working so we just went to sleep um and then woke up today after fajr and then did it and then afterwards we were just so tired like so we just went to sleep again slept in and then you know time went by <laughs> we actually woke up a little early but then we had to recheck again because we had to compare our answers with other people make sure like it's actually correct so we had to do like some edits that's why it took so long so yeah we just got ready um and now we're going um i doubt we will be able to do much today because the day is already over but yeah we're going to like go to um a mall Apparently, it's supposed to be the biggest mall in Europe, so that should be fun. And we're gonna grab food. We have actually not eaten all day today. Like, bro, <laughs> I don't know how we're doing this, but yeah, we haven't eaten, so yeah, we're gonna figure out like food and stuff. But yeah, um, the fit today is like a dress with long boots. You guys cannot actually see it's water. I'm just doing a dress with long boots and yeah, oh no, I had to put on my scarf because yeah, I love this scarf. But anyway, yeah, that's the plan for today. So I'll catch you guys later when we're doing whatever we're doing. <laughs> okay, so apparently there is a strike on the trains. So the train is not stopping at the stop where we need to take it at. Which is like so inconvenient because the next stop is literally like 22 minutes away. Which also I'm like, why are the train stops like so far apart? Because it's not like that in New York or whatever. Yeah, so Europe, you need to start treating and paying your workers right. Because I never heard of a strike until I came here. There's always a strike in Italy transportation systems as well. And then we came here and apparently this is try for British transportation as well. So you know, yeah, I need to do better with trading and paying your workers right because this is not it. Anyway, yeah, so we're not gonna have to walk to the next station. Okay, now we're headed to um, the Primark right there. This is gonna be my first time at a Primark actually. I always feel like the few British girls that do like calls and stuff. I got this from Primark and it was so cheap and it was so nice and it was such a good quality so I'm gonna try it out. Oh my god, we made a purchase from Primark. I bought a coat. Finally got my coat. Um, I'm excited. Okay, so I don't know what else we're doing because we didn't end up going where we wanted to go so we'll figure it out later but i'm excited that i got my coat i can literally go home now i don't care <laughs> i got what i wanted i'm gonna show you i'm gonna try to show you guys well i'll probably wear it tomorrow so you guys are even gonna see it on me so no need to even show it but later okay so we have decided to um where's this from oh <laughs> We have decided to go get dinner at Ding Hong Thai, so that's where we're at right now. We are around um, Covent Garden, I think that's what it's called, um, but it's really, really nice. Back then, it's really, really nice, but oh, this is the place. It's Ding Hong Thai. 
so yeah, that's how we're about to like have dinner and stuff. It's supposed to be famous. Hi. So this is what the menu looks like. And we ordered this Jebi Jalo. Uh, and then I also got this one, the noodle soup with um, rice beef. And then I think the honey. And then got this one, the noodle with spicy sauce. Yeah. But everything looks good. We might get one of these for dessert. Okay, the jalong came. That's that. And then this is the spicy noodles that Shahad got. Um, mine is yet to come, but I'm excited to try this. You want to try it now? Yeah. Okay. Try. It. I want to get your first reaction. For the camera. I feel like it's like two times better. Oh, okay. All right, I'm trying it. But how long? You said you have to. Didn't you, do you dip it in sauce? You can, but it's the first one. Then you take the soup and you dip it. Take a cup of water, rice, sherry, or one little. Oh. Which is nice because then you have a shot in the middle. That's good. I've had the chicken one with a beef. Okay, the beef noodles came. I'm excited to try it. Where this is from? Girl, London is so good during Christmas time. Yes. It's a little so nice during Christmas time. We actually came yes. at the. Day four in London. I honestly Loki can't believe it. We've literally been in London for four days. But yeah. So we kind of still woke up late today. <laughs> um it's currently like one something and this is the time that we're leaving to go. Um our plan today is to first go eat at this Iranian restaurant, Iranian restaurant called um Raqqa, I think. And then we're gonna go to Buckingham Palace. We initially wanted to go early in the morning to see the changing of the guards, but apparently it happens every other day. It's like today it's not happening. So we're just gonna go just to see the Buckingham Palace. And then I think we're gonna go to Borough Market, um, the Clock Tower, and also um, London Bridge. Cause I feel like this is an essential, like you can come to London and not go to London Bridge. So that's the plan for today. Um, the fit, I don't know if you guys can see, it's just blue jeans, boots, um, this cardigan, um, yeah, it's like I needed to switch it up, I was wearing the same jacket, but, but yeah, we kind of sort of switched it up, and you already know, this scarf is a staple for this trip, but, um, yeah, so that's the plan for today, I will catch you guys, um, later probably at the restaurant 
Okay, um, I think I have not shown you guys a train station in London, but this is a train we just got off at, and this is basically what the station looks like. And yeah, we're well, going out of the train station. I mean, duh. Also, <laughs> I peeped how like here they be like way out. Um, well, in New York they just be like exit. We're on our way to the Iranian restaurant. Uh, Alright, let's go. Okay, you guys. We just made a discovery. We were like, we've been saying it. We are like, oh, um, we think this is the Arab side of London. <laughs> David, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> The Middle East side of London because there was literally another restaurant called like Baghdad and everything is like in Arabic letters. Um, the other area that we were at, our um, the area that we are staying at, is more like the South Asian side because there are a lot of like Indian restaurants and stuff. So, this is the Middle East part of <laughs> London. <laughs> so it's actually nice that we are like discovering things. Look, Mahal. Okay, this is definitely the Arab side. Okay, we just got to the place. This is the um, Iranian place, but there's like a way. Apparently, you don't do reservations, and there are like three other groups in, in front of us. And he said it's gonna be like a half an hour or less. So we're just gonna wait um, to go inside and eat. But we also saw another restaurant right there that looks very interesting. It's right here. It's like an Iraqi restaurant. Um, yeah, I want to try it too, but I just said we could only do one. But yeah, so we're just going to wait for this and then go in later. Okay, this is what the inside looks like. I actually really like the decorations and stuff. The decor is really nice, but yeah, we're waiting for our food um, to come. And I just tried these olives just to try it. They were actually good. I'm not used to olives though. Okay, we just got our tea and first impressions, I love the decorations. Just really good. That's mine. I like shots. Hey, y'all. So, we just got done uh, from the eye. Iranian <laughs> restaurant. I have a bad habit of saying um, Iran and I want to stop saying that and say Iran because that's the right way of saying it. But anyway, um, yeah, so we just got done from the restaurant and now we're rushing to try to go to Borough Market because it's um, it closes at 5 and it's like 4.30 and it's like a 30 something minute ride. I don't know how we're going to do that. But yeah, we're like rushing um, to go there. And we want to try like dessert over there. It's supposed to be like a market for like food and stuff. So we already ate or full, but like I feel like that's one of those places where you just have to go. So we let dessert to like at least try desserts from there. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, well, look. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, it does look nice. There's like a carnival thing going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, okay. So when I wait to Borough Market, we're rushing to go. So I will show you guys when we get there. Places to go into the train station. The line. <laughs> okay, guys. So. The train wasn't filled. You got I, I saw I took like a little clip. The train was like so packed because I think a lot of the um 
stations are closed. So that's the one that was open. It was so packed. We were willing to wait and go. But then they just came in and said that station was closed as well. So now we're like just gonna walk around here. Also there was like station right there but yeah so now we're just gonna walk around here which like it's a really nice bar and it's also the most new york place because it's so busy um here so yeah it's a lot of stuff around here so we're just gonna walk around here and then later on we're probably gonna try to walk um to the london bridge and like the clock tower and all of those other places so yeah what is the smoothies yeah so that's what we're doing right now so. No plan. We're just moving. Before we I am a home, you guys. <laughs> I'm in Candyland. <laughs> it looks so nice and delicious in here. Oh yeah, these are like the halal options. You guys, when I tell you I'm home, I'm home. Like, just give me candy and I will be good. <laughs> For your information, the central line is severely delayed to all destinations and in both directions. This is due to an early incident in the East Acton area. Now your next train is currently at Bond Street and will be with us in roughly two minutes. If you need the epic... Finally! <laughs> We made it out, you guys. That was a lot. <laughs> I feel like we have had every single London experience on this trip. Like, what? But yeah, we just made it out. Um, about to now walk to the London Bridge. We're actually determined because it's drizzling right now. It's supposed to rain tonight, so. It's our last night though, so we gotta make the best of it, so. Yeah, come rain, come shine, we're going. <laughs> but we only have like two or three destinations left, which are somewhat close to each other. And now that we're actually out of the train station, it doesn't feel as bad. It was just so bad before though. Anyway, yeah, so we're going right now to London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> Okay, so this is the other side of the bridge. That's the one that I was actually thinking about. Um, but I doubt you can get up there. I don't see anyone over there. So I'm not even gonna try to go there because we're tired and we got other places to go to. Most important thing is, I saw the London Bridge. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Just wanted to quickly show ya. We just had to cross the street. Okay, it's right there. I look, I'm gonna pass through this gate. <laughs> just see what it is. But I thought you can. Time. I have to update you guys because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys all day today. So, 
Oh, these type of shits only happen to me. But anyway, okay, so today, Sunday, um, some context. Today is the day that we were supposed to return back to Bologna because obviously we got school tomorrow, we got shit to do. But our flight was scheduled to leave at 8.05. Um, yeah, 8.05. And we were supposed to get to Bologna at like 11 a.m. A.m. by the way. Yeah, we were supposed to get to Bologna by like 11 a.m. And I was actually like, okay, this is good because like I need to go home, wash my stuff, you know, prepare, um, sleep because we didn't sleep that night because our Airbnb is so far from like the airport, which is like Stanford Airport. It's like a whole two hour plus. So we are gonna leave home early anyway. Um, and then we got home really, really late. So we didn't even like, we weren't even able to like shower or anything. Like we literally just stayed on our bed and waited for um, a little bit and then, you know, just like left. So that was the move. It was supposed to be like a quick and then we get home, shower, you know, get ourselves ready and do everything. But tell me why Stansted Express, which is the train that we were supposed to take to um, the airport. Smoking is not permitted inside the terminal building. This includes. Honestly, I feel like I could talk. Anyway, the Stansted Express train, which we were supposed to take to the airport, was delayed because, as you guys can see, like in the other days, it's like. This whole strike thing that's happening which also like because the british government fails to pay their or treat the employees right now i gotta suffer for that shit. like what the anyway so yeah that one was delayed and then the earliest time that it was running was at 7 22 and our gate closed at 7 35. it's like we made it here by 7 at 7 55 and by the time we even got to like to get our boarding pass it was already like eight something so they were like, mm, you miss your fly. <laughs> they were literally like, you miss your fly. I was like, yeah, no shit, duh. I know I missed it. Anyway, so yeah, we missed our fly. Um, but and then we had to pay 100 um, pounds for the next flight. We only we had two options. The only other flight that was leaving was going to um, pizza, 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 pizza. That it's like um. It's another city around Bologna, and we will basically have to take a train from there to Bologna after we take it. And then it was leaving at three. It's like, and then it was a three-hour uh, ride from there to Bologna. So we'd have to take the train, the plane, the flight from here to there, then take a train, a three-hour train ride from there to Bologna. That was the first option. The second option was we just wait until 8 p.m which is when the next flight to Bologna was leaving. The hundred dollar we, we would have still had to pay regardless. Like and there are no refunds. And we had to pay hundred dollars. Like it was flat. So the option that we ended up going with was the APM one because it's better um yeah it was just take a lot uh, to like go over there then do a whole three hour ride. It would kind of be the same thing. So we have literally been at this airport from freaking 8 a.m. in the effing morning until now, until 8 p.m. It's like a whole 12 hours in the same airport. We were like at the prayer room for a while. Um, oh, sorry, not to show you. But like, um, we're like doing some homeworks, trying to make the best out of the time, but it sucks. And I feel like shit, oh, shit like this only happens to me, bro. Shit like this only happens to me because the last time I was traveling to, which was from the US to Bologna, some shit like this happened. So, yeah. That's the update. Yeah, life sucks right now. But, you know, I was like really upset in the morning, but now I'm like, it's whatever. I'm feeling a bit better about it. It's whatever. You gotta make the most of this situation anyway. But yeah, status update. That's it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in Bologna <laughs> once I make it. I'm going to try to figure out. I already ate lunch um, and breakfast. I'm going to try to figure out um, some, like, some snack or dinner to eat right now. So I'll catch you guys later. This is what I ended up getting. Apparently this is the aioli sauce. 
the rice and some chicken and it's from this place Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying.